Matthew 8. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Adonai, if you will, you can make me clean. And Yehoshua put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Yehoshua said unto him, See that you tell no man, but go your way and show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moshe commanded for a testimony unto them. And when Yehoshua was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Adonai, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Yehoshua said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Adonai, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, Go, and he goes, and unto another, Come, and he comes, and to my servant, Do this, and he does it. When Yehusha heard it, he marveled, and said to them that followed, Amen, I say unto you, I have not found so great belief, no, not in Yashorel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov in the kingdom of Yahuwah. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Yahushua said unto the centurion, Go your way. And as you have believed, so be it done unto you. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. And when Yehusha was come into Kepha's house, he saw his woman's mother laid and sick of fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the Ruach with his word, and healed us all that were sick. That it might be as fulfilled which was spoken by Yeshayahu the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. And when Yahushua saw great multitudes about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Rabbi, I will follow you whithersoever you go. And Yahushua said unto him, The foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the son of Adam hath not where to lay his head. And another of his Talmudim said unto him, Adonai, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Yahushua said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. And when he was entered into a ship, his Talmudim followed him. And behold, there arose a great earthquake in the sea, so much that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. And his Talmudim came to him and woke him, and saying, Adonai, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are you fearful, O ye of little belief? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And when he was come to the other side unto the country of the Gergeshim, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Yahushua, son of Elohim? 
Are you come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them, a herd of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If you cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place unto the sea and perished in the waters. And they that kept them fled and went their ways into the city and told everything and what was befallen of the possessed of the devils. And behold, the whole city came out to meet Yahushua. And when they saw him, they besought him that he would depart out of their coasts. 